Russia's foreign ministry is warning of a prompt retaliation after the US and the EU implemented new restrictions over what they call Moscow's role in destabilizing Ukraine. The new measures target Russia's financial, energy and defense sectors. Our Washington correspondent Gane Chichikan has more on the lengthening hit list. The U.S. now targets Russia's Gazprom, which is Europe's largest energy provider, and Sberbank, Russia's largest bank. The U.S. has also tightened the sanctions against Russian banks that it had previously targeted, including the Bank of Moscow, Gazprom Bank, Russian Agricultural Bank, Nyeshekanon Bank, and VTB Bank. All these banks are not, are not allowed to borrow from U.S. financial institutions for more than 30 days. Under earlier sanctions, that period was 90 days. Now, as far as the Russian energy sector, the U.S. wants to hurt Russia's oil exploration in the Arctic and has imposed a license requirement on U.S. companies that want to sell goods, services and technology to Russian energy companies that, that would support Russian deep water, Arctic, offshore and shale projects. The U.S. government says the license applications will be reviewed with a uh, quote unquote a presumption of denial so without some high priority for the u.s those applications might be dead on arrival this could hurt u.s companies that have joined projects in russia it spells particular trouble for exxon mobil's um joint multi-billion dollar uh, joint venture with russia's oil giant rosneft to drill for extreme oil in the arctic the sanctions come just weeks after Exxon and Rosneft uh, started drilling in Russia's Kara Sea. EU sanctions are also targeting Russia's oil business, but they do not go as far as to target Gazprom, Europe's largest energy provider, but the, U the EU is targeting Gazprom's oil branch. These latest sanctions imposed by the U.S. also target a number of Russian defense technology firms. Their assets have been frozen. The U.S. Treasury Secretary said it is essential that Russia work with Ukraine and other international partners to find a lasting settlement to the conflict. If Russia does so, these new sanctions could be suspended. Now, the sanctions actually came this Friday, even despite the peace process moving forward in Ukraine and the truce apparently holding.